Hello happy crafters and welcome back to crafting with Janine. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this diamond or argyle template for a straight tumbler. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in and I'm going to show you everything I did to get this look. So I'm just going to hide this one so I can show you how I did it. That's the one I did. So first thing you're going to want to do is to find your image. So we're going to open up our browser. I use Microsoft Edge. If you use Chrome, it's the same way. But to get the one that I wanted to do that, you're going to search black and white. And we're going Argyle. If I spell it right. Argyle. There we go. And then we don't want the socks. We want this one. So this will get you the image that you want because it's in black and white then I come over here and I go to images and then I look this is the one that I want right here to get the the design right so you're gonna right click save your image as put it wherever you're gonna put it I don't need to do that because I already have one and then I'm gonna show you how we clean it up and everything in design space so i'm going to close out of this and i'm going to come back over here so now i have my image and i have it saved so i'm going to come over here to upload and then i'm going to go upload and i'm going to browse my images and i have it in this file so i scroll down this is the one that i want so i double click on it and i get it up here so i'm going to come here to complex and i'm going to hit continue so now if I were to just take away all the space I don't want, like this, and then I preview the cut, you see this here, like if I zoom it in, and then we preview the cut again, you see all these jagged lines here? We don't want that. So how we avoid getting those jagged lines is I'm gonna cancel it and I'm gonna do that same step all over again. I'm sure I could back out, but this is just, how my laziness goes so scroll back down again I passed it there it is so I'm gonna click on it again double click open it up still gonna go to complex and I'm gonna hit continue but down here on this side before I do anything I'm coming down here to more options and I'm gonna open that up and then you get these and the color tolerance I don't a hundred percent know why it changes it up this way but the color tolerance you want it to be higher I'm not sure the exact number, but I just go to 90 for myself, and then I do that, and then I come up here where I'm already in my remove the background area, and then I just start pulling out the background of all the spots that I don't want. So like this, and then I preview my cut, and now I've got clean lines all the way around. So now that I've got my clean lines, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to apply and continue. And I'm going to come over here to a cut file. And then just name it and we're going to go Argyle. And then we're going to hit upload. So now that we have it in there, we're going to click on this one and I'm going to come down here to add to canvas. So now that it's in, I don't need it that big, so I kind of just small size it down so it fits right here on my screen. And mine's being a little funky at the moment. There we go. Sometimes my computer doesn't want to act right. So now I have this. I'm going to duplicate this image. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go to duplicate. So then I'm going to take that one, and I'm going to set it like right about here is about what I want. And then I'm going to hit come up here to select all. And when I select all, I'm going to come over here to align. And I want to align them vertically. So now they're all aligned and that. And then if I really want to be, <clears throat> I'm going to come over here and align top to make sure everything's lined up. Once I do that, I'm going to weld this image together. So we're going to weld it. So it takes a minute sometimes depending on your computer some days mine wants to act a little funky so now that you have this oh and I meant and I didn't say this before but I have 
with playing around and everything, I have figured out something which I guess those of us in the U.S. never realized it or whatever. I didn't myself. The measurements. Now, we use the imperial system and everything's measured in inches and feet and stuff like that. What I came to find out that if you measure with your measuring tape around your tumblers and you use your centimeter measurements, you are going to get a more accurate measurement than if you do it in inches. And I'll show you what I mean. So, my... Um, I use the hog straights, like I like the hog tumblers from the stainless steel depot. Those are the ones that I use. And I'm doing this one for a 30 ounce. So how I measured was I'm going to come up here and unlock. Forgot to mention that. So I'm gonna come on up here and unlock. So I measured it for my width. I measured it at 25.3 centimeters. And then for my height, I measured that at 23.5 centimeters. So this is what I get when I measure it. So you're going to have this diamond template. But real quick, I'm going to show you what it pop, what those pop out in inches and why it's so hard to get your seams and your edges to match up perfectly if you're measuring in inches. So if I come over here to these three little lines up here at the top, if you follow my mouse, I click on that and I can come to my settings and I can change my measurements right here. So I'm going to go back to Imperial and click done. So you see how up here it's 9.961. If you're measuring on a measuring tape, you're not going to get that accurate of a measurement. But the centimeters are broke down into such small increments that you can get a almost perfect accurate measurement by using your centimeters. So I've gone to using the metric system as far as measuring my height and width as far as that goes. Now for other things, I'll probably still use inches because that's just an easier way to go about it. But in this one, I've tested this and you get a almost perfect. I have a little times where it's not quite as perfect, but it's almost perfect. So then now that I have this, what I'm going to do inside this over here and I like to put a square around it so you could leave it just like this and cut it but when you're wanting to do it on a template and you want to have an accurate around your deal so I am going to open up a square and I'm gonna pull a square and now I'm gonna set my square to the same measurement as this so we're gonna unlock up here and my width was 25.3 and my height is 23.5 and I like to make my square white so I can see what's going on and as you can see my square is on top of my diamond image so I want to send that to the back so I come up here to arrange and I'm sent and I'm gonna click here and send it to the back so now it's behind so I could see everything that's going on then I come over here and I click select all and now it's select all, it has them all, and I'm gonna align and I'm gonna center everything. So now everything's in its square. And then when I have all of this, I come down here and I just attach them. So now it changes it all white, which I like the white when it's on my canvas because I can see it in post to the black. You can kind of see it, but I like it to be bam in my face. So now that I have this, when I go to cut it, depending on which medium I'm using to cut it. If I'm cutting this out of vinyl, I'm gonna leave both of these up on the page and because they're attached, they're not gonna move when I come over here to make it. So now both my square and my diamond are on here. And when I cut in vinyl, it's going to cut all of this. But if I want to use the double-sided tape, whether it's tumbler tape or your cat scratch tape, whichever one you want to use. I'm going to hide my square first, cut my diamond pattern out in the setting, which for me, now all of our machines are different and I had to get a new machine. So I noticed that the settings on them, for me, I use the copy paper setting on a more to cut my 
double scratch my cat scratch paper. I have not gotten the tumbler tape in yet, so I don't know what setting to cut that one on yet. I'm still waiting for that to come in. But I cut it on that. And then after this cuts, it's going to be done and it'll kick it out. But it will unload your mat. And then you come back here and you hide this one and you open up this one. And then I cut this one on a medium cardstock setting so it cuts through all the layers. So that when I pull it off my mat, I just have this complete square and I'm not trying to cut along and get this because I put this on my tumbler just like this and I and it lines up exactly where I want it to be so that I don't have any overlaps or messing around. This gives me the exact size that I want it and I've done it a couple of times and everything has always come out just perfect. So I want, I was just want to show you guys that and then it's easy, really easy to make these ones and then I have another video for the Tangram if you want to go check that out on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you if you're like me and you want to try to push yourself to create things. I like to create a lot of it myself so this one is this so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please give a thumbs up if you did tell me how you how i did down in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell notification to know when i upload a new video because i don't always i'm not the most regimented uploader so i don't upload on the same day of the week or that so don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe and again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always, happy crafting!